such a beautiful people you will truly love this home i can't explain enough how gorgeous it is i mean there's something about it i've been going around this place taking photos for hours from the scenery of the front yard to the back area to the rooms you know the interior space winds cutting and all that this is it this is a whole package Five bedroom house sitting on an 80 by 80 feet plot size with a plinth area of about 320 square meters of interior space. Exact location, a thick Angoingwa area and it's currently on the market for 23 million Kenya shillings. Sit back, relax, we're going to jump straight into the video but first... My name is Edna. If you are just meeting, I create a real estate content. Consider subscribing for more and let's get started. Here we are at the main gate straight ahead. They've installed a video door phone uh, system, you know, intercom communication that basically just, you know, supports monitoring of this gate to effectively establish communication between the person standing outside the door. And of course, the one feeling inquisitive on the other side, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but you get the point. But anyway, yeah, sliding gate leading you to this uh, magnificent construction and voila. Here we go inside the Palm Palace here in Ngoingwa Thika. It's ample parking, car paved, and there's a car shade for four cars. Trying to find some balance in my life, but I never really put up a fight. These are the palm trees that I'm talking about. Perhaps you're wondering why the Palm Palace? There you go. <laughs> around this beautiful construction um we have some sort of dsq and store on your left turning this way there's a water storage tanks and straight ahead we have the cloth lines area and of course the laundry area turning this way we have the back porch So heading over this way look at that well manicured lawn and then they've installed these beautiful concrete stepping stones or pavers if you like this stuff creates a gorgeous pavement pathway that switches up this space nicely and it has a lovely and colorful garden where you can grow flowers and plants i love this house i love this house i love the exterior The Palm Palace, San Ngoingo Thika. I wouldn't sell such a construction. What do you think? Huh? Leave a comment and just let me know. Come on, inviting atmosphere right here. This is it. This is worth your coins. And uh, a good place where you can feel happy and safe. Now we're going to go ahead and start touring the interior space so stay tuned and make sure you watch the whole video because the master bedroom the master bedroom is gorgeous but first we have a front porch right here and if you look up gypsum ceiling area love the uh, down lights gorgeous aboard with a grand and gleaming solid door that is poised to impress what do you think <laughs> and entering this space wow spacious and cozy living room area the large windows i believe it actually baths in natural light uh, thanks to this gorgeous sliding um windows
storage space under the stairs look at what they've done right here and notice the wainscoting on the wall even in the living room area the dining area and even the bedroom spaces such a unique and appealing way to enhance and of course elevate the design of the space like what they've done right here next straight ahead ample dining area we have a decorative mirror straight ahead you know mirrors can, can add a light to a dark space and even make a small space feel larger though this place is massive you know Floating sort of a vanity sink area right here with a smart mirror. So yeah, this is where we have some sort of wash basin. Turning this way, voila, a modern kitchen gleaming with polished countertops. What do you think? Wow, love it. So you can get in the kitchen through this space right here. Though I'm going to take you through the other door so that you get a good, you know, clear view of how beautiful this place is so i'm gonna show you that in a few but yeah look at that stunning intercom system right there and entering the kitchen whoa white cabinetry and look at the white subway tiles love it kitchen is fitted um you know see it's a semi-fitted kitchen we have an oven right here um it fitted with a gas hob and then we have the hood extractor fan and even the backsplash you know the pinkish vibes going on right there beautiful kitchen space set sink area right here matte black a fussy and of course this looks like an it doesn't look like but it actually is an expandable um in sink dish trainer <laughs> next we check out the guest clock room we have the shared washroom because bedroom one and two are on this level and of course they're gonna share this washroom because they're not on suite The shared washroom. Now, what I love about this washroom space is actually the antique brass, um, you know, shower set. So beautiful. Look at that. And this is perfect to prevent rust and corrosion. Like there's something about brass. Brass just gives those vintage vibes. It's beautiful, you know, aesthetically pleasing and also perfect in terms of uh, preventing rust and corrosion. Straight ahead, we have this single uh, floating vanity and we have a mirror, you know, smart mirror. Bedroom number one, this is basically the guest bedroom. Look at that. We have a wardrobe unit. I love the floor. Love the space, even the ceiling area. Gorgeous.
straight ahead we have bedroom number two which is actually a replica of bedroom one we're not going to be checking it out because currently when i to me a kama store so yeah but it's a replica of what we've just checked out yes that wraps up our tour on this level next we explore the fast level this is the ground level ground floor level <laughs> so yeah the first level where we have bedroom three four and five so yeah and five being the guest bedroom you're definitely gonna love this make sure you watch the whole video all the way till the very end because you are definitely gonna love it i ain't kidding <laughs> let's do this On your landing straight ahead we have bedroom three on your left we have the study and opposite the study is the master bedroom I'm gonna save the best for last but first we check out the shared washroom on this level um and again yeah we have a floating sort of vanity right there um and of course a medicine cabinet with a mirror Even the toothbrush holder, antique brass. Look at that. And then we have the washroom again, antique brass, um, a rain head or shower set, if you like. I really wanted to get it right. Trying to find some balance in my life. But I never really put up a fight. Didn't follow my dreams. And Next bedroom number three it's on suite we have a bright it's a private balcony with a view yep it's beautiful balcony look at the green spaces this is a beautiful home i so wouldn't sell this house i love it i love it i love it and the glass ballo streets installed Bedroom number four again comes with a balcony, not on suite, but there's a private balcony.
chandelier right there unique and beautiful So hidden over this way this can be your study or office space or gym it can be your home gym right here what do you think leave a comment and let me know and finally bedroom number five this is the master bedroom look at that beautiful i love the ceiling area the walls the space in general the windows um streaming in tons of natural daylight into the space it's massive what do you think So you're heading over this way we have a walk-in closet Straight ahead, we have the master washroom, beautiful tiles. Love the matte black rain head or, you know, shower set. There's a caddy, um, towel holder and all that. Your toilet bowl, single vanity. It's beautiful. Next, straight ahead, we have the private balcony. And yes, that's it. That basically wraps up our tour on this level and in this house um, in general. <laughs> what do you think? Exact location, thick Angoingwa area. Um, it's a five bedroom house sitting on an 80 by 80 feet plot with a plinth area of about 320 square meters of interior space. And it's currently on the market for 23 million kenya shillings if you are interested um you can reach out uh, the numbers are on your screen um just call and we'll sort you out as soon as possible thank you for watching the video all the way till the very end thank you for your time um thank you for your likes if you haven't liked the videos and you always watch my videos please like just give it a big fat thumbs up thank you for sharing my content thank you for subscribing thank you for sitting down to watch this whole video full video and thank you for your comments i mean those who comment on my videos i love you so so much Mwah! drop a comment if you haven't other than that thank you for watching and let me catch you later on the next one cheers and bye bye Mwah! bye <laughs>